Welcome to the Raven Tape Drive-In. I'm your host, Mr. Raven Tape, and tonight's game is based on the movie Constantine with Keanu Reeves. Of course, this won't be like the movie, but unfortunately it is a movie tie-in game. Now, I don't know what the production was like on this. I'm sure it's not going to be great. Movie tie-in games don't exactly have a great reputation. Just look at the Green Lantern game. Oh, what did they do to my boy Keanu? This is Constantine. John Constantine. Asshole. At the moment, it's following the movie beat before beat in the opening shots, which is not a bad start. I need a mirror. At least three feet high. Now, move! You gotta give it up to the voice actor of Constantine in this. He's not doing a bad impression of uh, Keanu Reeves. I've heard better, but you work with what you've got, I guess. Smile pretty, you vain prick. For your boss. Pull the rope. Now! Speaking about voice actors, I know that Matt Ryan now uh, just fits the role perfectly. Be a voice actor or live on screen. He just embodies uh, John Constantine, out of, especially out of the Hellblazer comics and stuff like that. Also, it's sort of like um, Hugh Jackman with, Wolver with Wolverine. Just fits the role perfectly. You don't have time to finish that now. Yeah, 
I read somewhere these are bad for your health. You have to cross over now, Constantine. You've only got one shot at this. You know how much I hate going there. Means to an end, John. Means to an end. I'm still missing some pieces for this. Look, you don't have much time. So I've been told. Always oh, a difficult one. Are you going to stand in the water or not? All right, Beeman. I'll get my feet wet, but you'd better be right. One thing I always liked about the movie was the little hints to uh, the Hellblazer comics, like when he's in the uh, doctor's office getting the x-ray of his chest and they just like a pair of black lungs because of how much he smokes. I can't remember the series it references to, but I know that's a, uh, a reference to when he gets told that he's going to die, so he tries his best to stay out. Oh shit, better turn that off. Thank you. Hopefully that wasn't too long. So if you know anything about the movie, you know exactly where we're going next. Water is, water is what connects us all together. Well, blood too, but... Welcome to hell. So this is the first time I've ever played this game, so I've got no idea where I'm going or doing. Or it's all a wild guess to me. I remember seeing it on the shelves at like video rental places, but never actually got it. So... I think it's because I always had a... And rightly so, I guess, that you knew that movie tie-in games weren't going to be any good. Can we talk about that walk animation that they've got him doing? It looks like he shit himself. I don't, mean, I don't mind the uh, auto aim being on in this. It's climb over this. I'm pushing it, but I can't climb. Oh, this probably. I think I've seen that climb animation somewhere before. Unfortunately, one of the things that the movie suffered from, in my opinion, was the representation of Jeff. Was he? What's his name? Um, Chaz. The running joke in the comic books, and they did it well in the TV series, is that he's immortal. So every time he dies, he's going to be back. I have to jump it. Leap without faith. Automatic jumping. This is new too. Well, I went over the controls, so I'm not really that surprised. It's automatic jumping, but still. I feel kind of bad about the TV series because it actually was getting good towards the end. It's just a shame that it had to go up against a show like The Supernatural. And to be fair, Supernatural had been a while, around for a while and gained a hell of a fan base. And basically, if you look at the show, it's kind of like what Hellblazer is to a degree. But still, I kind of want wish that there was another season for it but then you, you realize what CW has done to their sh properties and then you think no no thankfully there wasn't another series there though the movie they did release the animation movie I can't think of it at the moment 
with Matt Ryan voicing Constantine. That was brilliant. That was really good. And of course, the original comic book series. If you get a chance, give it a read. That's one thing I wish it would stop doing each time you got close to the wall. Like zooming into first person. You don't really need that. It's been fun, but I must be going. No, oh, Hennessy. Was he the name of the priest in the movie? He was the one that, um... Oh, spoilers here for a very old film. But he was the one that, uh... Died carving the symbol into his hand in a liquor store. A quiet night. Is it? Ego opera non verio next. Ego so proco uno spert. Lux lucis. Ego opera non verio next. Looks like we're at Papa Midnight's place. Yeah, Papa Midnight. Ooh, hit that one on the head. Constantine, for you. Ever think of going wireless? Nope. What is it? I'm calling you right off this time, John. So don't go complaining when I tell you I don't know anything. But a name. El Rio. Yeah, I was hoping for a quiet night. Hey! But it wasn't in the cards. Damn you, Constantine. I've been damned by worse. Much worse. Then the rains came. A cleansing rain. Or one could hope. Tell me answer me this in the uh, comments section. But... Is it just me or does that Great, Ke rats. Keanu Reeves been, has been in more games than any celebrity I could think of? Like he had the Matrix games, well, Path of Neo. The Enter, Enter the Matrix didn't have him in it, I don't think. But I know he was in the Path of Neo. He was in this. He's in Cyberpunk. Is that about it? So my own first impressions of this game so far is that it's not bad, it could be a lot worse, like I said in the beginning. Just have a look at footage of the Green Lantern. You'd be asking your money back before you even played it. To be fair, I was expecting something like a Devil May Cry sort of system. Not a, not over the top like Devil May Cry, but something along those lines. The unexpected. 
It was becoming a common theme of the evening. Granted, that is unexpected. Great, this true side is a bloody phone filter. Ah, oh, here we go. First death of the game. Oh. We'll see how far it throws me back. Remember, this is on the PS2, so sometimes with these certain games, you would have to start again at the beginning. Well, not the beginning of the game, but the beginning of the level. That's not a bad checkpoint system. The unexpected. It was becoming a common theme of the evening. Probably have to watch that cutscene again unless I can skip it. Ah, oh, good, I can skip it. Sometimes they're un completely unskippable, so it's not much you can do about it. This vision's gonna be a pain in the ass to use. I hate it when it was a phone filter, I hate it now. By the looks of it, level design wasn't their big strongest suit. Hang on, collectible. Yeah, I've been thinking about revisiting some of these old games, like... After I finish this, depending on how long it is, I will try and get, uh, like, the Buffy the Vampire games too. I think there was only one released on the PlayStation 2. I think there was two on the original Xbox, so... I might have double checked that, but I think it's Chaos Breeds on the PS2. I think. It's amazing that these sort of characters only get one-offs, like they lend themselves so, so well to a video game world. Like if you look at the, the rich history of uh, Hellblazer, it lends it, it would lend itself so, so well to the world of um, video games, same with The Punisher. Yes, I know. There was a Punisher game released on the PS2 and all that. PC and Xbox. But it... I don't know. It's like... If you don't give them their show... Give them something. El Rio's a half-breed. Was, anyway. Hennessy, demons just attacked me right out in the open. They don't like you, John. 
How many of you departed back to hell? Not some angry half-breeds. Full-fledged demons, here. You know demons are supposed to stay in hell. Otherwise, well, that would be breaking the rules. And? I see your point. We tolerate the half-breeds in our world, or maybe they tolerate us. It doesn't really matter. They're here. They exist. But demons and a half-breed angel getting knocked off? No, Hennessy. This is something else. The police have El Rio's building locked down. No one in or out. I'll find a way. You distract the cops. I was saving this. Stormcrow, that's powerful magic. Sure you want to give it away, Father? I think your need will be greater than mine. John, this is bad, isn't it? Yeah, very bad. I gotta admit, I kinda like the way the story's going. It gives more context to what the movie was. The movie was, uh, very quick, from what I remember of it anyway. Where this game, granted, it's got more time and stuff like that, but it's, in a way, being able to breathe a lot more. In a weird way, you could almost spoil the movie for yourself playing this. So I can collect more spells for my storm crow, right? Eh? Okay. So with that spell, it looks like I channel Thor. Couldn't be on the ground floor, no. Just like every other angelic half-breed, he had to remain as close to the boss as possible. One thing I always liked about the movie was that that Papa Midnight's, uh, nightclub or bar or whatever you wanted to call it was neutral ground for the half-breeds which was always interesting oh yeah so that's what it's used for is it It didn't look right. Fortunately, I had another way to see. It was a demon half-breed. He wanted to play. I wonder if we'll see, um, he probably didn't do the voice acting in this, but Peter Stormare, I, th I think the actor's name is, he played Lucifer in the movie. I wonder if he'll make an appearance. Freaks, don't know. Relax. 
Relax. Put them down. You need our help here. John, you look like crap. Come with me. Who did this? Don't know, but it was clean and quick. He came, he killed, he got what he was after. Which was more than just El Ryu. But then he left. Here, something has been removed. Recently. Very unusual for a demon to be so overt. They stay in their place. Usually they're a little more nuanced. Then why the exception? Whatever was here was important. To someone. Or something. Hell is already breaking loose. Tell me about Mr. El Ryu. Worked as the building's janitor. Typical. Why do the holier-than-thou always take menial jobs? Part of the deal, maybe. Vow of poverty and all. They tell me he spent most of his time in the basement. Make a copy of that for Beeman. Sure, sure, John. Where are you going? The basement. Naturally. Oh, there's a spoiler right there in front of you. This game really does rely heavily on you seeing the movie before playing the game. Which has got me thinking this probably did come out after. Though how long after? Love the Evil Dead re reference right here. <coughs> Asshole. If the reception is any indication, I'd say something isn't too happy to see me. something in here still not liking that vision whatsoever a screech beetle Beeman mentioned these produce a sound that stuns demons now that is a scene that I do remember that from the looks of those symbols this must be El Ryu's office something's worked this place over he gets uh, the Screech Beetle, Beetle in the movie after B-Man visits him. He gives him a few other nifty stuff too, but um, one, he gets into a street fight with a monster demon on the side of the road and uses the Screech Beetle, Beetle to basically get rid of him after, after finding out what his weakness is. What's behind that door? Gotta be a way up to it. I wish it wouldn't do that so much. That's slightly annoying. It's padlocked. Of course it is. Can't you just can't open a door by itself naturally. You just had you have to uh find a key for it. Let's go into the spooky basement.
Yeah, it looks like you actually have to step on them to trigger them. I needed to get past those cables, but the shock would have killed me. Pretty bad. A strange key for a strange door. I'm guessing that'd be for the door we just were told that is locked. I keep thinking, I know the clock. Oh, shit, am I caught? I can't get out. Come on, use that automatic jump. Get out. There we are. Whatever. Looks like we're down in a level. That'll be our way up, I think. Yeah, like I was saying, I keep pressing X thinking that he's going to climb but then realizing it's all an automatic old habits die hard I guess glad that these soldier demons aren't as strong. Let's see what he's been hiding up in his workshop, eh? Hey? Let's see what you've been hiding, El Ryu. An old toy of El Ryu's. I could use this. I have hidden the artifact near the cistern room and left it protected by my magic. If you are reading this note, then I have already left this plane. The burden falls on you now. The Sangre de Dio must be protected at all costs. If we're about to collect what I think we're about to collect, then um, it's very different from the movie, the way he comes into possession of it. I'm guessing whatever we need to switch that power off is in the sewers somewhere. Which, hey, every good game needs a sewer section. What annoys me is that I might have to go into that bloody true site. I'm just hoping it's not too dark not to see. Though I have to admit, when he's in first person, he does seem to glide a little bit better. It's unrealistic, but it's a little better. Now, it's not too bad down here. You can sort of see what I'm doing.
So the demons followed you down here. I'm just hoping it's a very straight path down here like it has been so far in this game. Like I said earlier, don't think level design was their strongest suit. Enough supplies down here, so it must we must be going the right way then. That's a dead end. There's nothing down here though, is there? Ah, yes, there is. Collectible. Oh, that's another dead end. You think you can get the better of me? I have auto aim on. I know it's kind of cheating, but if the game offers it. A game offering you auto aim kind of is kind of a, like a red flag saying that the aiming system is shit. So use their system. <laughs> Wait a second. Did we just lap? No. We just lapped. Okay, hang on a second. Let me uh, check something out. Alright, I'm back. So after about 20 minutes or so about running in circles, I finally decided to consult a walkthrough. And once you see the solution to this, if you've never played it, I'm an idiot. I was so close to the solution in the begin with that, yeah. Look, you can have a go at me about that one. But hey, it said turn it off. It showed me a random spot. I figured it was in the sewers. I really can't find an excuse for this one. I literally ran up and down this building multiple times trying to figure out a way around. And it was staring me in the face the whole time, so... This one hurts. Just a little bit. Yep, it was just as easy as that. Now I can get past those cables. I don't think you can tell it in my voice or not, but I'm technically dying inside right now. Which is funny because I'm already dead inside. I must admit, I do like the representation of hell in this game. The idea of hell just being our world, just gone to shit. Also, getting a look at it reminds you of the uh, outer world or nether world, if you want to call it, of the Silent Hill franchise when everything just becomes rusty and bloody.
At least the controls aren't like tank controls. That's a plus. That is a weird frame to freeze on. No spoilers in this one, that's interesting. Alright, we're still in the basement, so... Hopefully this will be a lot more straightforward this time. Though I am going to keep that walkthrough on hand just in case. I'm sure there's a, a very limited number of them you can collect. Damn, they're being busy down here, aren't they? There's one PlayStation 2 game I'd love to get my hands on again, it was called Whiplash, and it was with a weasel and a rabbit chained together, I think. They look like bats with cat tails. Get off me. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Time to get a bit dirty. Constantine, strong with those one-liners.
another bile riz. The real brain. Tosh, bow, tar. That's gonna be useful later on. So it looks like he collects spells along the way. I wonder if they'll drop in front of you like that more often, or you'll have to hunt for them. Gotta keep moving, stay ahead of them. They're a waste of ammunition. I really hate this sepia tone vision thing. I think it's sepia tone. I'm probably wrong with that. But this is like one of those classic foam filters that if anybody had a phone, flip phone from back in the day. All was dark. So dark you could almost feel it. But I had my vision. Sorry if you gotta avert your eyes from this, it's probably not that dark. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Where did that old fool hide it? Keep looking for something, maybe I can help. <laughs> Whatever it is they were after, it's got to be around here. I tend to forget I've got those spells. I guess you could use them at any moment, but I get a feeling you have to save them too. It's kind of sad, even though this has not been too bad all the way through it, and I've enjoyed it. It is very much a generic PS2 game, isn't it? Down to its finest point. So, with my running around town and all that, I did pick up a note out of a locker. Which is this one at the bottom left. Strange note left by Thomas Elbrew. Which I'm assuming if you didn't pick that up, you're kind of shit out of luck when it came to this. Or you could have probably, probably brute forced your way through it. Okay, what was the next letters? A, Scribble, C, 3? I don't know. The human brain sees patterns sometimes when there isn't actually a pattern. Oh, it's more of an N, isn't it? Just double checking it to make sure I'm correct on what I was about to do. I don't know if it would punish you if you um 
if you got it wrong or something like that, so... Why would a half-angel give up immortality for this? It had to be important. I need to see Beeman. Here's this, here's that monster I was telling you about earlier at the uh, highway fight out. It's a good idea for a boss fight. Thanks for getting us this far. But I'll be taking that now. Possession is nine tenths of the law. You want it? Try and take it. That was a waste of a holy bomb, wasn't it? So, right, just like in the movie too. But I've got none left, hang on, I've got one over there. Oh, I'm not escaping just yet. For a minute there I thought I actually died. I must be just really skimming it. Really has to be in that area of them. Hopefully, the checkpoint's not too punishing in this. Why would a half angel give up immortality for this? It had to be important. I need to see Beeman. Can I skip this or not? That didn't work. Why didn't it work this time? What did I do wrong? I need that beetle back. Redo. Nope, that's not working. I'm missing something here. And I'm out of beetle too. Come on, it's gotta be somewhere. Where is it? It's gotta be somewhere on this floor. Why can't it be shiny? I've got a new plan. This might work. Ah! I'm just gonna pump it full of 
holes. Once there. <laughs> Pretenders. Another part of the way that he'd be carrying that around. I just want to see what's next and then I might call it old obviously that is to say ancient Roman maybe spearhead perhaps yes probably other than that a half breed angel died protecting it Beeman and demons came through to get it it has received a great deal of attention. That is without question. And the symbol? Never seen it before. Or at least not in any earthly references. What about the Nissan Sturt Demoniacs? It might be in there, if you can find a copy. But, John, the only known Nissan Sturt Demoniacs is in the ancient text section of Hell's Library. At least I won't have to pack for the cold. While I'm gone, find out where they're storing El Rio's body. Sure, sure. Can't be that many dead angels at the morgue. And I want to look them in the eyes when I get back. And with that, we've reached the ending of tonight's showing. Hope you enjoyed it as I've enjoyed it. And until next time, good night.